So the crap, it's Wednesday, September 12th. I'm JP Mistanza, and this is Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. Now here's the news you need to know. Senior officials at Vashida Phuket Hospital in Phuket Town are reviewing an incident last night during which an elderly man verbally abused staff at the hospital for what appears to have been a lack of attention. A video of the man's 11 p.m. rant was posted online, quickly gaining over 200,000 views overnight, and it shows the man verbally abusing hospital staff with a barrage of expletives while staff were trying to calm him down. Eventually, the elderly man walked off without receiving medical care at Vashida Hospital, but the issue has Vashida's hospital's deputy director telling the Phuket News that they're attempting to figure out the problem today with hospital management board set to review the issue. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. The project manager of the much beleaguered but highly anticipated Chalong underpass says the project is over 56% complete and they're confident that it will open by Songkran in April of next year. About 240 meters of the tunnel is left to be excavated for the underpass itself, although the closing of the Chalong circle itself has created massive traffic problems and delays, forcing motorists to change when driving in the area. The project manager from the Phuket Highways office, Somkye Yimpong, says the Chalong Circle won't reopen until the underpass inside is finished, which he expected to be sometime in November. Work on the 546 million baht project began in December of 2015, with plans originally set to be done in two years. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. A woman is now sitting in Phuket jail for allegedly stealing over 30,000 baht worth of lottery tickets for the draw to be held this Sunday. Police revealed just a few details to the Phuket News Thai language sister newspaper Kao Phuket yesterday saying they only received a report last Tuesday from a small shop owner on Bangkok Road in Phuket Town. The owner says that 390 lottery tickets were stolen and using CCTV footage Police were able to track down the female suspect, although they declined to identify her, with more charges still pending against her. All the missing tickets, meanwhile, were also recovered. Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Back to Phuket Extra. While Maya Bay is set to reopen to tourists on November 1st, there are a few exceptions as the chief of Koh Phi National Park says that marine experts are confirming a full recovery of the reef in the world famous bay is not out of the question. Maya Bay was closed to all visitors from June 1st to October originally to allow the coral reefs and local marine ecosystem to recover from years of over tourism and marine experts say that corals transplanted into the bay are showing positive signs of growth, especially after boats taking tourists to the area were no longer allowed to drop anchor on the far side of the island in Losama Bay. While the original reopen date was October 1st, officials have now pushed that back one month for November 1st, although the bay itself will remain closed to boats, but tourists will be allowed to visit Maya Bay from Losama Bay. At its peak earlier this year, visitors to Maya Bay topped out at about 5,000 per day, but that's now expected to be limited to 2,000 per day with help from a new e-ticket system that is currently being discussed among officials. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. And the government didn't get its cut in taxes and other fees as a Thai man was arrested for concealing a silver Porsche and trying to smuggle it into Myanmar. The Porsche was found in the back of a six-wheel truck with its fake license plates hidden beneath bags filled with clothes. And the truck was stopped by a team of customs, police and local officials at a checkpoint shortly after midnight this morning in Tak province in the north. The 43-year-old driver confessed that he was delivering the luxury sedan from a garage in Tak to a man in another part of the province with its eventual destination in Myanmar and it was smuggled into Thailand from Japan. The man is now behind bars and officials say that about 1,000 used and untaxed luxury vehicles from Japan have already been seized by customs officials in the northern province. 
And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. And until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. Golf is for everyone, especially at Laguna Golf Phuket. Now, expats and Thai locals can enjoy the world-class course until the end of November with special resident rates. Simply show your Thai ID card, work permit, or retirement visa. Just 1,800 baht daily for a round of 18 holes with caddy and additional 350 to include a golf cart. Or enjoy great four ball with three other friends on Sundays for only 6,000 baht. Optimize your summer by booking now at facebook.com slash Laguna Golf Phuket.